the recording? Keep my mouth shut. Well, no? Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> the way you are going. Okay, so how old are you and what is your birthday and year? I'm 74 years old. I'll be 75 May the 26th. I was born May the 26th, 1941, a long, long, long time ago. My grandfather, or Pop, as he tells everyone to call him, he's a man of many things, but above all, he's a hard worker and an amazing person, and he's one of my biggest role models in life. He's always doing for others. I don't think he'd know what to do with himself if he did otherwise. He graduated high school in 1959, and in 1963, he started working at Hickory Printing. He was there for 43 years and never took a sick day or time off. He always believed that it was a blessing to have the job, and he never took it for granted. But he did have to put work on hold for two years when he got called into the Army to be a military policeman in 1965. No matter what he's doing, he's always moving. He's always five steps ahead of everyone else around him. He buys and fixes up cars and resells them in his spare time. He also can't stand a dirty car, so he'll force you to let him wash your car if he sees even the least bit of pollen or dirt on it. Sock or some, some kind of a container, like a sock and a little box. I'll, I'll do it right. Oh, and he's a problem solver. This here's not, this ain't big enough here. Put that right there. No, that ain't big enough. There's all kinds of things you can do to make it work. Don't even ask me what he's trying to figure out here, because I have no idea. He also visits his 97-year-old mother. We call her Mamaw, in the nursing home every day. He spends hours there and washes her clothes every week. He believes that she spent the better half of her life taking care of him and his siblings, so the least he can do is return the favor. But now that he's a little older, he's learned to enjoy the smaller things in life. He loves to spend time with his family and goes on all of our family vacations. But even on vacation, he's barely sitting down. He loves walking on the beach and plays putt-putt with the rest of us, and he usually gives us a run for our money. It's a very rare thing, but every now and then you can actually catch him relaxing on vacation. We got him an iPhone for Christmas a few years ago and he still has no idea how to use it. Anytime one of the grandkids are over, he turns it into a teaching time. He is always there for me and always wants to help me in any way that he can. He's been the main subject of several of my school projects. He feels totally comfortable and loves being in front of the camera. No matter how many times he's seen my projects about him, he still acts like everything is brand new. Oh, I didn't know you took one of that oil down there when we changed the oil in the lot. <laughs> A real true life event that happened the last time Pop and I were at Chick-fil-A. I was completely out of oil. I don't have the first idea on how to even check my oil. So Pop will check it for me from time to time. Well, he checked it and I didn't have a drop of oil. <laughs> so after an exciting drive to Walmart and a 20 minute debate on whether to buy a funnel or not, we ended up here in the middle of the Chick-fil-A parking lot using a cup as a funnel so we could save $3. <laughs> you make me look like a cheapskate. Overall, Pop is an amazing man. 
He goes above and beyond the call of duty on everything that he does. If I've learned anything from him over my 20 years here on this planet, I've learned that he will always be there for me, no matter what.